Sally. It seems kind of desperate. Look, you want to get out of this hick town just as much as I do. I suppose. And we want to have some money. Yeah. So it's simple. We kidnap a kid and ransom him back to his folks and get a little money. Are you sure about that kid, though? He looks like a nuisance. Doesn't matter what he's like. His mom's the richest widow in town. And you see how those two sisters of his cling to him? I guess. Then it's settled. We'll kidnap him tomorrow night, and by Friday we'll be out of this town forever. Sam, we can't let him go when we bring him this far. We bring him, or did he bring him? He'll wait for us at the bottom of the next hill. I sure hope we don't try to sneak back to town. Him, he's having too much fun. Well, he's got to remember, he's our prisoner, and we're the kidnappers. I'm not so sure about that. How dare you enter the camp of Red Chief, the terror of the plane! It's all right now, Sally. We're playing Indian. I'm Old Hank the Trapper, and he's going to scout me at dawn. And you are Snake Eye, the spy. And when I return from the warpath, we will burn you at the stake. Okay. Are there any real Indians in these woods? I like beans. Is this my bed I get to sleep in? I want some more bread. I hate to go to school. I don't like girls. You ought to make any sound? Mm -hmm. Red Chief, would you like to go home? Bang, bang, boom. Hey, curse you pale faces. Red Chief? They got a cannon. Hit the dirt. Hey, Red Chief. That was close, man. How many dead? Uh, Red Chief. What? Don't you know we're in the middle of a battle? Red Chief, how would you like to go home? Why? I would have to go to school then. I want to stay here with you fellas. Oh. Uh. Well, all right, you can stay a little longer. Now let's go to bed. Indians don't go to bed. Oh, uh, well, uh, if you don't go to bed now, then you can't wake up early to keep playing. I can sleep in late. Yes, but you said you were going to scalp Sam, I mean, old Hank, at dawn. All right, I'll go to bed. Ha! Oh, you pale faces think you can sneak into the camp of Red Chief, the terror of the plains. I'll learn you. Bam, 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 bam. Ah! Sally, what time is it? Five minutes since the last time the cursed pale faces snuck in. Do you think he'll ever go to sleep? Sure. Kids love to sleep. He'll be out like a light in ten minutes. That's what you said three hours ago. Red Chief, come back to bed. That'll teach you to come into the camp of the Terror of the Plains. I'll scalp all of you. Ah! Now, Red Chief, get back in bed. The pale faces are gone. Ah, oh, but they'll come back pretty soon. Yeah, about every five minutes from now until morning. Everybody, it's early yet. You don't think they'll try to run away, Sam, do you? I hope so. Why aren't you sleeping? I'm just not really tired right now. Oh, yes, you are. 
You're just afraid to burn you at the stake. And he will, too, if he can find a match. Oh, that's ridiculous. You and the chief make breakfast. I'm gonna go into town and see what's up. and I boxed his ears. And then he threatened to throw that rock at me. Oh, you two are gonna be the death of me. Sam, why can't you act your age? Yeah! Why don't you tell that nutty kid to act his age? He's worse than me. Nobody tells Red Chief that he's a nutty kid. Where do you think he's going? I don't know. I don't think he'll go home. They don't seem to notice he's missing anyway. You mean they're putting up with this nutty kid for nothing? You'd think they'd never heard of the kid. Don't worry, they'll miss him tonight. We'll have our ransom money soon. Hey, wait! Sam! Sam! Wake up! Wake up! Oh! Wake up! Hi, Sally. Oh, you Do you know who my favorite biblical character is? It's okay, Sam. You'll be alright in a minute. King Herod. Oh! Say, Sally. You won't go away and leave me with that kid again, will you? I'm gonna go find that kid and shake him till his freckles rattle. Right, Chief? Hi, Sally. Was it a dandy rock I hit Sam with? Did you like my ace? I hit him right between the eyes. Is he still out? Should I wake him up? Yes, it was. No, I didn't. No, it wasn't. No, he isn't. And no, you won't. I have to talk to you, young man. If you don't behave yourself, you're going home to your mother right now. Are you gonna be good? Yes, I promise. I won't hit Sam. I won't punch Sam. I won't punch Sam. I, I, I get it. I get it. Hey, can I play Black Scout today? Well, I don't know the game, but that's for you and Mr. Sam to decide. He's your playmate for today. Okay? Okay, Sally. Sam. See how they're taking the kidnapping. I might as well send the ransom note while I'm there. So we should write it now. Okay. The sooner we get rid of the kid, the better. Okay. I'll dictate. To Mrs. Dorset. And Eulalia. Who's Eulalia? Red Chief's sister. Okay. How are you? We are fine. We are? Just keep going. We cordially request that you deliver us some some... Cash? No, I was just thinking. You know, if it seems like we're being nice to him, they're never going to want him back. We gotta sound me. Okay. To Mrs. Dorset. We have your boy concealed in a place far from town. It is useless for a posse to try and find us. We promise to deliver your boy safely to you if you comply with our terms. We demand $15,000 for his return. You know, Sally, I was thinking, they'd probably get Red Chief back just because he's a blood relative. And I'd feel like a murderer asking for 15000 Can't we make it a 1000 Oh, okay. But keep writing. I'm about to get to the good part. If you comply with our terms, then leave your answer and the money at midnight tonight in the location as hereafter described. What does hereafter mean? I don't know, but it sounds good. Keep going. Send Eulalia alone to the big oak tree on the outskirts of town at midnight tonight. Have her leave your reply and the money at the base of the tree, and your boy will be returned safely to you within three hours. Any attempt at treachery on your part, and you will never see your boy again. Signed, Two Ferociously Desperate Outlaws. How do you spell ferocious? Just 
Just put two desperate outlaws. Dad. All right, I'm gonna go post this letter. You keep the chief happy. You don't know what you're asking, but okay. You won't be long, will you, Sally? I'm not afraid to admit that I'm downright scared of that kid. No, I won't be long. <sighs> Red Chief, where are you? Don't be angry, Sally. I had to let him go. Had to. First, we rode 90 miles into town. And when that kid says 90 miles, he means 90 miles. And we galloped, mind you, galloped. And then, after we'd rescued all the settlers and killed 10,000 Indians, I was fed hay and oats. And since we didn't have any hay and oats, I had to eat sand instead. Then all the way back, I had to explain to him why a road can run both ways, how holes can be empty, and why the grass is green. Then we got into a row, and he bites, punches, scratches, and kicks me. And finally, I had to let him go. At first, he refused to move another inch unless I carried him piggyback. I finally kicked him down the road about a mile in the direction of town. I just had to let him go, Sally. Had to! Sam? There aren't any chronic heart diseases in your family, are there? No. Then turn round. Ah! <laughs> 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 Dear Two Desperate Outlaws, I have received your letter and I think your terms are ridiculous. I hereby make a counter proposition. You will bring Eustace back tomorrow and you will pay me $500 to take him off your hands. You had best come at night for I can't be responsible if the neighbors do anything to you because you are bringing him back. Yours truly, Mrs. Dorset and Eulalia. That's ridiculous. We're supposed to pay them? Oh, please, Sally. We can afford it, and I'll die if that kid stays here any longer. Well, okay. We'll take him back early tomorrow morning before their neighbors is up. Thanks, Sally. You're saving my life. Here, we really thank you for taking Eustace off our hands for a little while. I'm sure he enjoyed camping out with y'all, and it was a real pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Do you think you can get him off me? Let me go! How long can you hold him? I don't know, 10 minutes? Great, I'll be in Canada by then. No way! You aren't going anywhere. Nice to meet you girls in the long right